if there's going to be somebody that we can actually trust, that these people are going to come out of direct action, people who are doing like uh, the actual work. And I think that's a way that you convince people too, is you show them the work, right? We can talk, talk, yeah. talk, talk all day long, but you know, we, we've heard talk from the squad and all these people and gotten bubkis. But when you see yeah. their works, right? Know what is it? Know them yeah. by their works, know them by their deeds, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, th then you, you might have a modicum of trust in them. Well, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you touched on, you know, it, you'll know a tree by, by the fruit that it bears. But the thing is, is that a lot of times people are so focused on electoral politics and it, that's like trying to build the roof when you barely got the foundation built. Yeah. People are not focusing on local local politics. They're not focusing on city and state, you know. Uh, and so, I mean, look at Shama Sawant in Seattle. Mm. She is pretty much uh, an exception to the rule when it comes to politics. Uh, she is doing an amazing job in her city. In fact, so much so that they're actually trying to do a recall election against her. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, it's like it's like, oh my god. We got to get rid of her because the thing is that she can inspire and spawn more people just like her, especially locally. And so they don't want that. They don't like that. Can you imagine somebody like Shama Sawant in Orlando, Florida, where I live? Disney would start shitting bricks. <laughs> I tell, I kid you not. The mouse would be like flipping mad. He'd be like, yeah, oh, fuck this. I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, so it's just you know and, and because the thing is that somebody like a, a Shama Sawant type person would be like hey we need uh, we need a union and not the shitty ass union that Disney has no we need a really strong union in fact we want to actually push for people to actually own a piece of of Walt Disney so that they can call the shots and then they all need Democratic say in the entire company. And that's mm -hmm. something that they never want. They don't want that at all. And so, um, you know, I, I live in Florida, which is basically a right to fire state. Mm -hmm. And so if you start spawning, you know, people like that on a local level, then that makes like a, a foundation, the bedrock. And then once you have that, then you can build from there. And then they actually team up with direct people in direct action. And they utilize them. So then next thing you know, when they're when they're tearing shit up in the street, you know, either figuratively or literally, whichever, you know, you so want it to be, then the politician <laughs> can be like, hey, you know, may, you know, maybe if you guys gave them what they wanted, then you know, then they would stop. I right. got a bill that's written right here that can help out, but if you guys don't want to do it, then I'm just going to have to let them keep doing what they're doing. And then you have that, that because the thing is, you know how the politicians play good cop, bad cop? Yeah. Why aren't we, do, why aren't we doing the same? We could. And so we could do it, especially, you know, locally, but yeah. we're not because a lot of people, they don't see the local politics as important and the thing is is that you could do a lot just for your very own neighborhoods you know on a local level and utilize direct action at the same time and so then as it grows as the left grows then guess what maybe in a few years then you can affect the change and i'm not saying this as like uh incrementalist I'm saying my motto is leave the world better than you found it. And you don't have to change the entire world to make it better. You can change somebody's world, even just a little bit to make it better. So what you're doing is you're setting the foundation and you're changing that small area. And so then as it grows and if other people start growing, then it can eventually get to where we need to. Um, does incrementalism work? Hell no. But you have a much bigger impact locally than you would nationally. Yeah, I think uh, 
incrementalism on the local level for things that aren't uh, a dire need is great. Yeah, do it. You know, what do they yeah. say? Uh, measure twice, cut once, right? I'm all for that. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. when you're trying to put out a house fire with teaspoons of water, uh, one teaspoon at a time, no, nah, that then we, we can't have that, you know. But you're, you're absolutely right about the local levels. Um, when I talk about... Yeah. Um, electoral politics. I'm talking about on the national level, right? That's pretty mm -hmm. much a graveyard. Um, but yeah, it's uh, true. But but like local is a different story because if you get a good foothold on the on the local level, you can, uh, like you said, it's like it's like the, the the foundation, the roots of your tree, right? And then uh, you can grow that through uh, the state too. Because I'm a big fan of uh, state uh, state ballot initiatives too. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Recently, and this is so fucked up, uh, Mississippi. That's uh, that's where I grew up. Um, yeah, I know they got the whole I'm sorry Roe v. Wade. <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up. I grew up near New Orleans, so I grew up in the good part of Mississippi. So uh, okay. the Gulf Coast is just kind of like eh, it's kind of they're kind of the same, but not really. It's like better seafood. But uh, what's uh, they had last year they they had a state ballot initiative to get to legalize uh medical marijuana right and oh. they voted for it but there's a there was this this dumbass law uh where you had to have signatures on the ballot from the five from five mississippi districts right but i think maybe it was like not too long ago maybe about four or five years ago uh Mississippi uh, lost a a, uh, a district. Uh, they lost a representative, right? So they had five. They had five state representatives, I think, or uh, House representatives, and then they lost one. So now they were down to four. So in the law, they couldn't they couldn't go forward with the medical marijuana because they needed because the law said you needed signatures from five districts, but there were only four. So they had to go back. They went to the Supreme Court with it, in the, the the Mississippi, and they said, "Well, you got to change the law in order for you to do this." So, even with state ballot initiatives, you always have to look at the fine print, you know, because the, the 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 powers that be don't want to lose their power, right? So they're gonna they're gonna do everything under the sun to make sure that they keep, you know, a hold of the reins of power. And uh, people be damned, but you know, hey, you get out there and work for us, though, right? You know that kind yeah. of thing. So hopefully, one day we can change that.